How much does a polar bear weigh? Apparently, it's enough to break the ice. Or 680 kilograms. But let's stick with the first one. Because I'm new to YouTube. So I have to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Katerina. I'm really excited to be doing this because I've always really wanted to teach some sort of a class, but I never really got around to it. And internet is the easiest way because I don't need to move. Um, I'm not lazy, I swear. So, I'll be teaching Russian. For those of you who are interested in learning for a family member, a significant other, I congratulate you uh, for trying and reaching out. It's a difficult language at first, but I can make it simple for you if you just help me out by trying and repeating words after me repeatedly. So before you get all excited about Russian and stuff, I want to give you a rundown on the basics that absolutely no one knows. Um, it's not common sense apparently, but uh, here goes. Russian is an Eastern Slavic language, um, which means that some there are, there are some other languages that share similar characteristics, like Belarusian, Ukrainian, and Russian, spelled R-U-S-Y-N. And there are also three extinct languages in that little group, um, and they are Old East Slavic, uh, Ruthenian, and Old Novgorod, which is a city in Russia. Furthermore, all the countries once a part of the USSR, or otherwise known as the Russian Empire, were taught Russian in schools, which means that you can meet people from Ukraine, Belarus, Poland, anywhere in the satellite countries of Russia and Russia itself. Um, they'll know how to speak Russian. In case you guys didn't know, uh, the Russian Empire was composed of Russia, of course, Poland, Ukraine, Finland, Belarus, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Georgia, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Kyrgyzstan, and Tajikistan. So don't be surprised if someone from Belarus knows how to speak Russian. It's just been that way for the longest time, and anyone between the ages of, say, 25 and over uh, most definitely know Russian. I hope that wasn't too much information. Didn't seem so bad, right? <laughs> Leave you with that for now. Um, I'll post another video Monday, and I'll have some greetings and expressions, I guess, in Russian. And I'll break it down for you nice and simple, and you can rewind it several times if you need to. But I must say, practice is the key. So I'll be repeating this on Monday anyway. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you Monday, and I'll leave you with three cool facts about Russia. See ya. Did you know Russia spans 11 time zones? The Urals are the oldest mountains in the world. And Lake Baikal in the south is the world's deepest lake and largest reservoir of fresh water on Earth. My idol here is demonstrating that Russia produces the best vodka in the world. And if not the best, then the best way to keep warm in Siberia.